been campaigning since uh, January. So I'll start really early. I'll give you a brief uh, bio about myself real quick. I was in the U.S. Navy for four years, stationed in Yokosuka, Japan. Uh, I have an associate's degree in cultural studies. I was in Canada for four years after that. Came back to the U.S. 2010. I've been involved politically uh, with campaigns such as Lynn McAllister, who ran for the second congressional district, uh, Carl, and uh, John Dislin's uh, campaign for Mount Prospect trustee, and uh, Melissa Sanchez out at Crystal Lake. So I'm taking up the challenge now to run against Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and a quick story, Bill, he's heard the story before, down in Springfield, going to the uh, Illinois uh, Tax Forum. Uh, pretty much like I said before, we started since January. Uh, Jan was going to vote initially on the bill uh, known as the Cyber uh, Internet Security Bill. It was going to allow government to infringe on your data and all this. But then again, what's the surprise? You know, the NSA is doing it anyway. But uh, just I was able to get people to call her office, you know, get her to vote no on the bill. So after all the pressure we applied, she finally did. So then after that, she was going to write another amendment to that bill, which would allow a civilian agency to do the same thing. So then, then got, you know, we, 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 well, we harassed her enough. <laughs> then she caved into that. She voted no, you know, she just left alone entirely. So with that said, she ended up blocking me. On Facebook, her, her own Facebook page, which was, which was very interesting. So finding out she was holding a Arts and Heights Tea Party event, uh, I invited Art and everyone else uh, to the event. And then uh, we questioned her on a few things. She was talking about trying to give part-time workers health care benefits, which wouldn't make sense because the pockets are going to be pinched and then they'll probably be homeless. Like she's going around talking about raising minimum wage to $15, you know, coming from a working poor family myself, I know that's unrealistic and it's rather stupid because, well, you're going to have people getting laid off. Uh, those who are unskilled will never have a chance of getting a job anyway. And just cost of living goes up, though. And then, you know, she's jumping up and down right now talking about, oh, let's go to war with Syria. You know, me being a veteran, this is something I take personal because I don't want to send my brothers and sisters in the military to go die, fight along Al Qaeda side. And this is one war that we need to stay out of, I think, personally. Yeah. So, making a brief thank you, Art, and now I'm going to turn the mic back to you. So, thank you. Well, one of the things a, a amateur politician always has to remember is when he gets a good round of applause, that's the time to quit. <laughs> There's also a gentleman running here for 